What's up family? It's your boy Jones. Welcome back to the channel. How's everybody's day going? You know, write that down in the chat. Uh, you know, interact, stuff like that. Um, it's a nice day today, man. Uh, uh, spring is coming around. Spring is around the corner, like in two more days. But um, today's episode, today's video, vlog, whatever we want to call it, is going to be about fatherhood. I think, yeah, it's going to be about fatherhood, uh, accountability, you know, just being there, making a point. Um, you know, nowadays, I'm, I'm 27. I know um, the thing, you know, the stigma, I guess, is uh, fathers, black fathers, I'm going to say, but fathers aren't there. They're not active. They're, they're not in the picture. Um, you know, I'm, I'm anti that, you know, I don't really... I don't associate, I don't really associate myself with uh, deadbeat dads or stuff like that. And if they are, I don't know, you know. Um, but that's not to judge anybody. But at the same time, we having these kids, we gotta, we gotta take care of them. There's no, you know, there's nothing, 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 nothing past that, you know. Or I should say, you know, there's no exception. There's no exception when it comes to taking care of somebody that you put into this world that didn't ask to be here, you know? And then, you know, it's a, it's a two-way thing, but at the same time, you know, strap up. You don't want a baby, strap up. That's as, it's, it's as plain as that, strap up. You don't want a kid. There's no, oh, I told her to get the abortion. Nah, that's a dub. We not, I had to see if it was going. We not doing none of that. That's, that's unacceptable. Oh, she ain't want to get the abortion, so now nah, I, ain't, I ain't gonna take care of my kid. Nah, you you a deadbeat for that, bro. You a, you a loser, loser, super loser for real. But um, accountability, man. Like, I don't feel like and I'm, I'm venting today. We just going off top of the head. I ain't you know I ain't got no notes. I know um because I'm new. I don't you know I try to I go on my notes. I try to um you know as I as as the channel progresses. We're going to try to, we're going to try to, um, I'm going to try to wean off of the notes. But yeah, I'm going off the top today. So, but, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like, I don't feel like a lot of, um, men get held accountable. You know, like, especially like in, in, in my community or, you know, me being black, whatever the case is, African American, however you want to say it. Um, there's a lot of mothers in the household. There are a lot of mothers in the household more times than not. Um, a man, let alone a single, uh, single, a single, a two parent household, you know, there's more time women than a two parent household, let alone, um, a man. Um, when I say that, like a single man and stuff like that, but, um, more times than not, it's a single woman and how we gonna keep it a buck. We're going to be honest, right? How I feel, not a lot of, um, not a lot of women hold their sons or their son accountable i don't feel like a lot of and that that's not even like that's not even where we start at that's not where it's starting at it's you know that's that comes that's 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 that's, that's something that was started from the very first day type like almost as far as um once responsibilities was handed, like men not being held accountable from an early age, 12, 13, 11. I, I can't really give you certain scenarios or whatever, but I know for a fact. Um, I mean, certain scenarios being being younger. I couldn't give you scenarios like that, but I know for a fact um, men aren't being held accountable. So to not be held accountable it's not you're not you're not being uh honest to to your responsibilities you're not you're not putting your responsibilities first and when you're not putting your responsibility first or nobody's holding you accountable it's easy to be like oh fuck that or stuff like that or even if anybody's holding you accountable there's no no stronger no stronger mind no stronger voice 
besides and now i'm not saying women are are not strong i'm not saying that in, this, in, in that aspect but a man telling another man you know giving him his his perspective and, and stuff like that it still may not work but it's a better chance a man getting through to a man and him telling him his perspective opposed to um a woman and vice versa women with women you know a man i can't i can't tell a woman certain things about being a woman or i can't tell a woman nothing about being a woman but a man can be able to tell a man something a woman can be able to tell a woman something so when you got a, another another male figure a strong male figure and 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 uh and that and that said man's life it's kind of easier for him to fall in line in a sense or you know it's he's that that man to plant the seed especially like in a sense where he's older or like he's a um almost an adult you know when it's a kid it's easier you know to plant that seed but or to you know to have him fall in line in a sense like follow a structure as as a man a man raising a man raising a boy into a, a young man into an adult fully functioning able to handle his own responsibilities and that's how it should be can't be skipping out on on the next generation especially one that we um that we bring into this world you know regardless of the relationship with the mother or the relationship <clears throat> with the other family whatever the case as men as men like we have to be there in order to raise our raise our kids you know i was raised by my pop so you know i i see it i see it different but i know you know i got i got family who 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 their, their father wasn't around and you see it you know you see the difference you know you see that you see a difference and it's like that's more just that one person or that one figure whoever it whom whomever it may be whether it be your father or your uncle just having a positive male role model in, in your life you know always there consistency um accountability you know that's that always helps at the end of the day you know and, and it hurts it hurts sometimes when someone doesn't have that because now later on in life you know, going through things and having a male figure in your life doesn't, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't always mean that you, oh, you got the keys to the, to, to life now. No, but that male can, that male person done been through about like 10 times, nine times out of 10, been through everything, maybe even more than what you, than what you will go through, you know, especially if that person who is the male role model in, in that young boy or that young man's life if they've been through it like and now they teaching you look man be better than me be better than me be better than me that's what my father always told me you know be better than me monkeys be better than me ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. so <clears throat> you know so I think it's long story short what I'm really getting at it starts from young when it's um accountability but regardless of whatever the situation is with uh with uh with the other person the other parent none of that matters like and i feel like it's always as long as you're gonna wake up tomorrow there's always a uh, a new day you know to start back at step one and that step one may take some time you know but knowing the bigger picture because at the end of the day you know you remember you remember what you know what what happened what was done what was said when you was younger you know kids is like the, the fly on the wall, you think they not there, you think they not paying attention, but they remember a lot of things. So you remember, excuse me, you remember when you was younger and you know, you remember as a kid. So now you having a kid, your kid is gonna remember, they, they're they gonna remember who was around. So you wanna definitely, regard, uh, whatever the situation is at hand, you wanna fix that. You know, you wanna fix that, try to have a conversation, try you gotta try you gotta try because you put this you put this person here who didn't actually be here and for them to struggle because you can't put your ego aside or that's basically what it is you can't put your ego aside that's that's selfish and that's it's messed up 
is messed up. You definitely got to fix that. So whatever, whatever way you could, you know, and, and understand each, understand who you're dealing with at the end of the day. It's not, oh, um, you being a sissy and, um, in lack of a better term or not really lack of a better term. And, you know, to say, you know how you would say, you know, oh, I'm being a, I'm being a sissy, but not at the end of the day, that's your, that's your child's mother. That's, you know, whoever she may be, that's your child's, you know? So you gotta, you gotta put that aside. You know, you gotta put that aside for your kid. You gotta put that aside for your kid. Cause <clears throat> once again, they didn't actually be here. You gotta, you gotta start from square one, some way, somehow. Come on common ground and, you know, make time. You gotta make time. You gotta make time. Because it's a scary world now that we're growing up in. Um, technology, internet, kids seeing everything. Kids, TikTok, you know how that go. You know how the TikTok go. Shaking their butts, stuff like that. Kids see everything, the cursing, the YouTubes, all that. So you gotta be there to monitor your kid. You don't want them, and especially if you grew up without a parent or you grew up in the streets or you ain't had nobody to tell you right from wrong or you you wish that somebody would have talked, talked you out or, you know, let you know how that would have went, you know, nine times out of 10, eight times out of 10, that's what a parent does, you know? So you, you need both parents. That's a fact, you definitely need both parents. Both parents are equally important. This isn't taking away nothing from mothers or anything like that, but you know, I'm a dad, so I'm gonna speak on what I know. I'm gonna speak on what I know and accountability, man. That um, Accountability is a big thing. You gotta, you gotta hold people around you accountable, but at the same time, you gotta hold yourself accountable. If I don't hold me accountable, I can't, hold my son accountable. I can't hold nobody else accountable because I'm not accountable for my action. I'm not accountable for my responsibilities. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you know? You know, you gotta, it's work. It's work. It's work at the end of the day. It's work, you know? Everybody's situation is, is different, but at the same time, you gotta be able to, to work that out some way, somehow, you know, for the kid, for the kid, for the kid. You know, if you, you know you a Debbie, you got to tell yourself that, son. Look look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, now nah, I'm a Debbie. I got to do better. You feel me? You feel me? Everybody go through their shit, but a lot of times it's on how you handle it. You can't really, I can't control how you how you act, but I can control how I act. You know, and if I act in a, in a calm manner, one thing I learned, kindness kills. Kindness, you know, it, it kills all that. You killing with kindness, basically. You know, nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna. You can't. You you defeating yourself if I come off mad. You know, kind. Thank you. Oh, all right, cool. How was your day? All right, have a nice day. You arguing with yourself at that point. You know, you killing with kindness every time. Then it's like, ah, oh, sometimes they get even madder. But you know, that's. You gotta, you know, let them know what 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 it's about at the end of the day. You making changes to. You know, you're making changes each and every day to better your situation, to be there, you know, however they may take it. Um, you know, these got to prove it. Sometimes they may not believe it. Sometimes, you know, you, you and at the same time, do what you can, do what you can, you know, like even if it's a, a phone call some days, even if it's, a, you know, a walk outside, walk to the park or, you know, a uh, whole day, you know, do something, be there, be there, because something's better than nothing at the end of the day. Regardless of what anybody tells you, the only person that really matters and the feelings who really matters at the end of the day is that said child, those said children, you know, those those are going to be the pers the people, the person who remembers everything. Oh, dad, you remember the walk to the park? You remember when we went to go get pizza that day and blah, 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 blah. Oh wow, you done forgot it, but your kids remember stuff like that. Your kids definitely remember stuff like that. So make make the time, man. Hold yourself accountable. And sometimes it's not easy. It's not easy being a parent. But one thing I learned, one thing I'm learning is what's what's easy is not always always good to have. What's 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 hard to get is is worth having, you know? Like success, working out, changing your diet. 
wanting to stop wanting to stop smoking all that stuff is hard but that all that takes work each and every day that that stuff takes work there's no lacking and same thing with parenting that falls right in that ballpark you want to be a parent you want to be a good parent you want to be a decent parent you got to work hard you know and there's no there's no off days to being a decent parent there's no off days you got somebody watching you you know there's no off days to being a good parent we ain't going for decent, good parent, you know. But yeah, guys, have a nice day. Uh, thanks for tuning in.